are you able to see my screen? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So today's is life session five. So I'm going to deal with uh, some what doubts last class you guys have asked regarding hands-on uh, related to georeferencing and digitization. So I just thought of briefing about our last class with, where I have spoken about the data quality in GIS, data key factors like completeness of data, uniqueness, consistency, validity, accuracy, and timelineness. Uh, and how the key factors are playing a major role in the data quality of the GIS. The probable source of error, what can be so like uh, measurement error or human error or whatever three, four points I have spoken in my last class and confusion matrix like uh, the producer uh, efficiency and user efficiency, these things I have spoken and its example also we have solved and topology error map graphic symbols what are the map graphic symbol like shape hue intensity color these things size and qgis interface i have showed so today i was just thinking to go through because uh, we are uh, one week uh, quicker so that's why i thought this is the best time to start uh, this thing so just uh, i want to brief you about this georeferencing digitization and uh, if we get time, I will work on this attribute table uh, understanding and extraction in through uh, of them or raster data. So, and uh, in last class, I have told you about Bhuvan DM tile downloading, importing in GIS also and projection system and the symbology of the DEM raster, which I showed you going through the property and into the uh, symbology. So today's class will be going to be hands-on where I'm going to teach you Bhuvan thematic layer, how to bring any of the Bhuvan thematic layer into your QGIS uh, interface and then WebMap services, OpenStreetMap and Google Satellite through this, how to make the ground control points into your map using topo sheet maps and georeferencing and then digitize some boundary or some area or any road like using vector data, vector data like uh, line polygon points these things and how to see the uh, how to understand the attribute table what is the feature and if we get time as i told we'll do for raster extraction and uh, map making also so we'll see so if you guys have uh, downloaded or installed this qgis software into your system you may be seeing this interface like this first is the main menu bar second is the toolbar here numbers are allocating these tools where we will go and select as per our need to map into our qgis interface and then third this thing is showing as your map legion here you will be able to see your layers what are the things you are importing and Fourth will be the main map view where we will be going to work upon. Fifth is number is showing the map overview. Sometimes it will be on, sometimes it's not. So no issue. You, whatever you are doing, it's just a small overview of your map. And the six is the status bar. The down column will be the status. Like it will show your coordinate system. It will show your uh, this geo, geo, this latitude, longitude. It will show you the scale. So this thing like a status bar. What status of your map is currently in. And then uh, this thing is how to bring that web map services to your QGIS. So this tab will open when you go to your new layer property. In that you will add one web map services which I am going to import from Bhuvan as any thematic layer. And I will show you how to import it, how to understand what, what are the features are there. Ma'am. Huh? Ma'am, uh, sorry to disturb, but uh, uh, the images are sort of blurry. So it will be helpful if you directly go to QJS. Yeah, yeah, I will do that. that. I will do that. Just for a, a brief of these things, I have taken a screenshots and I have imported there. So don't worry. I will do that. Okay. Uh, 
and uh, here i have taken from bhuvan i did one exercise also for you people and i will do in class also so don't worry i will go to the bhuvan website i will open these things and i will bring into our qgis and i will show you how to do so this recording will be there you guys can catch up with this thing through using your own software and then how this web services uh, url how it works in our qgis i just showed so that if you go through material also you'll be able to look this ppt will be shared to you don't worry and how it looks in your qgis interface so it looks like that like when i bring from there this is the uh, mp madhya pradesh land use land cover thematic map which i have brought from bhuvan to our qgis platform and uh, one i just showed here the satellite uh, google satellite imagery and uh, i have created one layout of i just imported the shape file of tamil nadu the uh, state and uh, i just showed you how the open layer plugin works and how we can digitize after like by zooming and making some more feature to appear so we can do by our own self i will show you how to digitize also i am just briefing you what we are going to do today so these are the topo sheet maps i got so i just i will share some data to you people in zip form in my material uh, link okay so you can work upon if you feel like to work with this data set so few maps of topo sheet map i have got just yeah sure sure male i will share don't worry uh then how after when we digitize in a gis digitization is process of tracing in a geographically correct way the information from the image to um, uh, from the google satellite to our map so how we will locate if you see here this is the west bengal uh, region where uh, just we i have located this this image i got this is the source of this image and uh, you can see here how the urbanized area has been located through this light orange color and how this water body have been located and how the other feature like road network and these things have been so this is called digitization means we are tracing the path and making the boundary or polygons to understand which feature means like what it is representing so like that it has been showed here like if you see uh, this commercial land see they have showed this this color is see they showed as commercial land and this is s is marsh marsh area f is forest area if you see here forest area and then open space this o o they mention as open space that is this light green color and the urban area which is this light orange color so like that we can also prepare our own map so before it appears like that now it is bit clear what are the features are so this is called digitizing and then uh, map making exercise like i can show you how we can create our own map kind of like this as topo sheet or for any reason we have from google satellite or open street map op open map services layer and we can digitize by first geo referencing then digitizing then forming our own map like this so how we come up with this kind of a uh, very uh, detailed map i will show you today's class in today's class so this is called the title this is the boundary region which we have been worked upon and then this is the legend and this is the scale of the map how to bring i will show you and this the grid lines how to bring and north scale is also showing the direction which direction we are heading towards so these are the references you can go through in each references and bhuvan website also i have mentioned you can go through to understand some more detail of this data inputting editing and topology and digitization and this web application into the gis data so let me start open my qgis
so i open my qgis first what will i do i want to i want to bring this web map services thematic layer from bhuvan to here so let me open bhuvan i am doing so that you guys also can perform your own like thematic layer or study reason in a your own interest area or your own thematic uh, map you can bring and you can do so that's why i'm doing in this video so you see here there when you go to bhuvan there is a thematic services option is there in map and ogc services so when you click on this thematic layer here you'll get number of options of thematic layer which they are providing us first you have to log in to download any data you have to log in i am logging in here you have to create your own profile and you have to log in i have created so i am logging in I logged in. Now I have to select the theme. Which theme I am going to work upon? So let me select the latest which they have, twenty fifteen land use land cover map. I have selected. So which state you are willing to work upon? Tell me. I will select that state only. West Bengal. Which one? West Bengal. Okay. Yes. Okay. So West Bengal, I have selected here. Some documents are also there. If you want to see what are these documents are speaking about, so what is land use land cover analysis? This has been done by Remote Sensing Application National Remote Sensing Center, Department of Space Government of India, Hyderabad, twenty nineteen June twenty nineteen report it is, and it will be telling you about this metadata. What is this data sets? Uh, what are the details from where it has been? What is the scale, and how we have demarcated? So this all this area, ruler area, this built-up area, and this further further classification in built-up area. What can be like urban area, ruler area, mining area, agriculture? What we can have further classes like crop land, plantation, fallow fallow land, and current shifting cultivation. in forest we can have evergreen forest we can have deciduous forest forest plantation shrub land swamp and mangroves so and grass grazing so grass grazing area and then barren and uncultivated land like salt affected land like gullied or riverineous land means eroded land shrub land sandy area barren rocky area ha na and then wetland it's like wetland inland wetland coastal wetland river or stream canal water bodies and snow so these can be further classification of level class 1 uh, like uh, the classification based upon level 1 and level 2 means a detailed classification of any map if we have very detailed map or imagery we can classify in a better way we can classify in, in in urban area itself we can classify in built up area itself we can classify how much this is urbanized and how much still it is ruler area how much this is covered with the mining things so we can speak so this they have given all the description regarding what map they are giving from the bhuvan website and this is the report and then further you can see this is the map how it will appear West Bengal, see the West Bengal land use land cover map. We can create such kind of map by using QGIS software by our own self. How how nicely it has been made. If you see here, different we have when we have very detailed uh, details, very like minute minute details. We can demarcate this thing classes in a see how the shades they have been given and how they have located in india map how the west bengal region is what are the coordinates what are the scales north arrow and 
what who which organization have in what are the data sources so everything they mention as i told you shape tone texture like, like in my last class see the line it is showing international boundary and this blue line is showing coastal line state boundary rail lines district boundary major roads so these things can be the different colors and shades which we have covered in our last class what are the uh, symbology of a map like then we can prepare our own yeah ma'am uh, will they also be using uh, qjs or any other specific software uh, this map can be uh, made by different open source software or commercial software it's depend like with see this is the nrsc na national remote sensing center they may have their own we can use we have we are not having any commercial software in our hand we are having open source software like quantum gis which we are going to work upon if they have detailed information if they have very good kind of uh, gis software they can use their own but we i am just telling we can prepare such kind of map in our qgis also as much detail we have so uh, this way we can deal with such kind of things so i will show you you will be able to do this okay so next option we have statistics like what are the calculation of their area wise percentage wise how much it is falling in this distribution if you see here land use land cover of west bengal mm -hmm. 2015 crop land this much area these things so they have this are the government website so they have detailed um, like you can say all the entries or uh, things manuals so they may be able to get lot of thing but whatever is openly available we are extracting those information and we are generating our own map so on from that we are getting some inferences so how we'll deal with the scar data and we can get more and more information it depends upon how intelligently we are understanding or how intelligently we are able to deal with the scar scar data and getting more information so if you see statistics here we'll be able to see the state wise statistics and di district wise statistics it will be loading because we have selected one whole state of west bengal so it will take some time so which see district wise wise when you select so which district you are interested in tell me which district of west bengal you are interested in there is bankura darjeeling east min min uh, midnapur hugli kolkata i'll be selecting kolkata so these are the land use land cover of the kolkata if you see building mining built up and mining area is 95.25% and if you see here this is in percentage this is in square kilometer so don't get confused here and this is the wetland area because it is near the coast and then uh, lul this wetland and water body area is around 2.9 and square kilometer which is 2.88 percentage of the total area likewise we can select any other district also if you see darjeeling it is having variety of land use land classes so it is showing more options to you if you see here in analysis so first hey, this is the metadata which i have already talked about scale and things how the data are lot of the lat long things and how much it is accurate this quality data quality so here we, i am interested in web services okay so i have selected what i want i have selected land use land cover of 1 in 50k scale of west bengal region and i want to import this west bengal land use land cover in my qgis so how i will do here if you see for open layer this gaia users this is the url and we are interested in web map services of qgis or arcgis ha na so i have to use this url https semicolon dash dash slash bhuvan dash vec2 nrsc.gov.in bhuvan wms 
so i will going to be copy this url and i will be opening my qgis so here the option is go to layer sorry here the option is data source manager are you seeing this icon main menu bar so guys are you with me yes ma'am uh -huh. yes yes wherever yes. wherever if you feel any doubt or any option you are not clear with please ask me today i am going to do hands on so i am okay to answer your question so it will be easier for me to make you understand okay ma'am how to reduce or uh, increase the screen size of the software i i tried looking for that option i could not find it anywhere it is lot of, i mean for me it is lot of uh, zoomed in screen size yeah yeah like uh, any raster you have imported or vector you have imported no ma'am just to uh, just when i start the uh, huh. software huh. by default it will be very much zoomed in so here in setting go to property here You'll be able to see some this thing. See, default option will be there. Like for me, it came normally only. Ah, uh, this is CRS. General setting here means you are telling about this. This options are coming as big, big font. Yes, yeah? ma'am. Big ma font. If you allow, then I can share. Yeah, you. please, please. Uh, I can, can show you. Yeah, yeah. My share screen. your screen. Yeah. Wait, I will just off. Okay. Yeah, share. Uh, I hope you are able to see my screen, ma'am. Yeah, I am able to see. Yeah, I am able to see. Uh, ma'am, so the software which, by default when I open. Uh, which uh, QGIS you have installed? Which version? Uh, ma'am, the latest one. Uh, I think it is two point eight or something. Three point two eight, right? Yeah, yeah, ah, uh, yeah, three point two eight. Yeah. Like this is. I mean, whatever. QG was, designer. Uh, This is not QGIS. Oh, okay. My bad. Uh, I'll reinstall now. Can you just go to your Google? I will help you out. Can you just go to your Google? Yes, ma'am. Search QGIS download. Show me now. Yeah. Don't go for latest. Show all. No, no. Go back. Here you were. No. This is what is. I mean. Don't don't use that. I'm saying. Okay. Uh, go up. Go up. Yeah. Here all, all release. release. Yeah. Go here. Here all previous release. Click here. Yeah. This is for OS Windows. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Come down. So come more down. Oh. Uh, you'll be getting uh, QGIS. Okay, now for the current, you can use QGIS three point two eight is also fine. Go up. Hmm. Here Q QGIS. Go a bit more up. Hmm. Three point two eight. It's not there. Go up. I'm three point two this year. Yeah, you you software option is this is MSI. Okay, install one. Try to install one of this. Uh, click. I don't think. Okay, install it. Now it is opening like a file. 
it will be as an application setup wait i will just tell you give me a minute i am also seeing in my system okay so what will i do i will share the link of the qgis site where you directly go and install with the link okay fine i will keep okay. in my slide fine to you so today okay. class you just focus on my class and you will be able to follow up what uh, recording will be available to you people so i just i will share this thing in my uh, pdf okay so let me resume the class ओके मैम मैम टुडे टुडे यू डू एनी लेक्चर ऑन जीपीएस जीपीएस लेक्चर इज देयर बट वी आर लाइक दिस इज माय फिफ्थ लाइव क्लास एंड जीपीएस इज द सिक्स्थ वीक क्लास सो आई वाज थिंकिंग टू कवर इन माय नेक्स्ट क्लास so if you, but if you have okay, any okay, doubt okay. you can ask no problem gps is for okay okay i will i will ask you okay 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 first uh, okay. okay so we will go here i am importing the web map services option so data source manager okay so malay you understood you have installed uh, another software yes ma'am huh. ma'am already i have installed and already open parallelly i am doing okay this good 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 because i am new Okay. Actually, ma'am, uh, we uh, are using GIS uh, for for the our uh, optical fiber line, all the ports. Okay. The Which uh, stream you belong? Actually, I am in. I am belongs to electrical stream. Okay. Currently transfer in OFC. Okay. That's why it's some QGIS joined. That's why it is I joined this course. QGIS can be like GIS. Data is needed nowadays to any of the stream, so no worries. Yes, like no transportation, electrical, or civil, or medical, or people are doing. Yes, people yes, are yes, taking yes. this because map making and yes, these things will be make your things more clear to understand general public. I told as I told you in my first class, so that is the thing. That is the benefits of the software. Okay, then yes, yes. I'll resume my class. So WMS like. Web Map Services option is there. If you see here, Data Source Manager, just go to this option, select New. So new connection I am going to establish with my Bhuvan URL. So this is my West Bengal. Now I just write L U L C. So I just give a name here, and I will I have copied this URL. You saw I have copied this URL. Copy. I am going to paste in my this url option this is the pasting okay and then no need to check anything just to do okay and here load sorry sorry connect we are providing connection so it has been connected this url have been connected to my qgis okay now we have to select our reason here to add this layer in my qgis so i am going to select see here ids are there name and title of the thing which i am which image i am going to import so if you see here i am interested in west bengal land use land cover here so many things oh, the url have taken lot of information from bhuvan so but i am specific with my lulc so i am going to select lulc you can also search for lulc west bengal which id number it is coming and if you are getting earlier than me then please let me know 
एल यू एल सी इज हैविंग सो मेनी इंफॉर्मेशन लाइक दैट वी हैव टू सेलेक्ट अवर इंटरेस्टिंग रीजन एंड इम्पोर्ट इट वेस्ट बेंगाल Huh, we can go by ID, but here we can get more, lot more information. So I used to uh, go with this option, okay, so that we have lot of options. See if you here, see here, the salinity map, disaster map, wasteland map, forest map. That will be a bit uh, tedious to select. That uh, you are saying correct option. So how we will go with that? I don't know. I I think if the if they have mentioned their ID, <coughs> this called uh, Darjeeling land use land cover ID. That I saw, but Darjeeling, if you select, it will show only Darjeeling region, Darjeeling district. Okay, but we need whole map as I have showed for Madhya Pradesh. You saw. Yeah, 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 ma'am. But if we select Darjeeling only, it will it will show Darjeeling. Have you imported like that? Uh, no, ma'am. I uh, have to download QGIS. Uh, yeah, I download okay, it wrong software. Okay. Okay. I will. I will share the link. Don't worry. I will share the link. Okay. So this is MP, West Bengal, Mumbai. because uh, actually we are importing whole state but generally people used to work upon district wise if you see here many of the district uh, state districts names are there so l u l c no who is doing parallelly with me have you got the west bengal l u l c oh my Uh, QGIS and and I have to restart. Ah, uh, listen to me. One more problem with this open source software. Sometimes, when it deals with only online data or any like, if you imported number of layers at a sudden, or you are working parallelly with four or five layers, or big, ah, uh, you can say like MB or uh, big raster map or uh, layers. So sometimes it will hang. So what you will do further? If you work with this software, if it hang, first you save your things. Whenever you do any process, save your thing, or else it will go. Whatever procedure you made, so okay, okay. be very careful when you work with this software. Save your all projects, and then, or whenever you do any further process, just click on the this save option, okay, and then move forward. Or else, when it closes, it won't regain. Okay. Sometimes you have to make again. So okay, just give me a second. I am searching. Okay, there should be one option of getting quicker searches. Sorry guys for this. Let me. Yeah, it came West Bengal. Yeah. Okay. There are. Okay, let me import this map. I will see what are the things associated with that. Okay. I am adding this map. I clicked on. I selected this layer. I have clicked on Add, and I am closing this. See here, we got. It will load because this is the full uh, whole uh, state map, land use, land cover. You can see here what are the properties of this thing. You can see the layers. This is the layer option. 
why it is showing like this just let me open again this so I have selected this first layer let me choose other two layers because it is not giving me the information which I am interested in okay so I added whatever map we are interested in we can add and we can as I have told you guys we can off any layer here okay so when you just untick this it will go off so let me see the property table if it opens property see it is not showing I will off this layer when I have imported for Madhya Pradesh it has opened actually I have one more file I will open for you guys maybe not that okay. that is my last class thing okay but this is the raster file okay if it is not appearing don't think yeah, that uh, raster has gone it may take some time to load because it has lot of information into it so what I will do I will make you guys understand what this map is giving the details to us no need to go because raster property you won't get but if it is a vector you'll be able to understand the feature here in raster you will be able to see this what this color is speaking about it is loading guys if you see here this this will load so it this icon will come see it's loading and I'm moving because it is having a lot of information so built up area they showed with red color if I'm zooming also it is taking time ok then better to select a uh, district I guess ma'am yeah. ma uh, after loading every time when I select the uh, hmm. uh, drop out hmm. drop down button it hmm. hangs yeah it is, ha ha it is having after so many connect. Yeah, it is having lot of information. If you see, lot, lot of classes are there. So, it has large oh. vector attribute, you know. It has converted to raster to for appearance. And first, they have made the attribute using uh, vector uh, polygons. Then, then, then only they have defined uh, this built up area, this ruler area, mining area, agriculture area. Then, they made it as a raster to prepare this map as a jpg so it will take time because it has a lot of information that's why i am trying to select uh, mine is also hang i am trying to select one district so it will be smaller area a smaller area can be like we can a uh, bit uh, you can say like flexible on that huh, no? i am trying okay let me bring this is the last project we did I just opened our last project this dem one our last class ok let me bring it here see it got hanged it's ended so now my project gone ok I'm opening new project when you open new project what you have to do you have to take here or you just go to project select new ok and I'm going to again adding this web map services option I just want to see here I have connected one LULC map let me connect this this I have taken from Bhuvan only so I have this I want to select a small district so that will be able to move easily LULC 10k map of Maharashtra if you just drag it you will be able to see see this is Kerala Koji Kode like that let me select one small district this is Jharkhand 
हजारी बाग एल यू एल सी मैप टेन के वन इन वन इज टू टेन थाउजेंड स्केल ओके सो लाइक दैट द डिटेल इज दे हैव बीन फरीदाबाद अम्बाला सो आई एम सेलेक्टिंग वन रीजन सो so which reason you are interested in which state reason tell me i will select madhya pradesh jabalpur shall i select lulc 10k okay i'm adding okay. this layer yeah i'm adding and closing this this is also having lot of information see here i have selected district then it is moving somewhat okay loading is also somewhat okay as compared to a state so if you see here how much detail information they have gave for agriculture sub classes for built up sub classes if you see here agriculture agriculture aquaculture plantation agroforestry built up area water body others snow glacial salt pan wasteland desert area dense shrubland so many option han how the each raster have been like uh, given the symbols if you see i'm going to see here property is somewhat opening i opened what i did i just want to close this okay now you are able to catch up with me yes sir yeah, i i'm just right clicking on the layer i'm going to property to see this option let me This is still taking a bit more time, but okay. Because this is online maps, na. We are importing the URL here directly in our QGIS. So see, this is the LULC map of MP Jabalpur. Sources, it has been mentioned from NRSC GOV dot in Bhuvan WMS layer web map services, having the coordinate reference system of EPGS EPSG. Four three two six WGS eighty four geographic extent of the region is seventy three point three four twenty two point eight three two eighty point. This is the latitude and longitude of this study region, and the unit is in degree decimal. And then all the information associated with this land use land cover CRS, because for each region they were speaking about this information. so lot of information if you just drag it will be able to read all the information and then here symbology is there you can we need not to change okay so we have this study reason to understand how to bring any web map services or any url into your qgis if you want to work with this data set what you will do will start you will import your own uh like okay so we have to first do digitization then only we will be able to work with this land use land cover because this is already prepared map okay so let me do as in my ppt i am ma'am this is raster data na yeah this is raster see here this is a this icon is showing the image pixel cells are you able to see okay. here you go to property yes. go to property in the layer you, this information go to i tab i tab will be the information i have selected it will take some time yeah oh. yeah so data type this could not determine but raster data type okay this is the layer if you don't get a uh, one more thing in raster you will be have you will be able to see different color and variety here with the, no attribute table because raster having their own information and property attribute table associated with our vector data that's what i told this map has been prepared with the vector digitization like this much area have been covered with this dark green color dark green color is showing which one Okay, let me zoom. Is this dark green color? Is it's not water body or what? Lagoons. 
because agriculture is yellow color, right? And built up area is red and pinkish shade. Wasteland, wasteland category it is, water body or wasteland category it is. And if we don't have information na, how it has been, so what we will do, I used to do this only, I used to import my Google satellite. Okay. And Google satellite, keep your, this map over the Google satellite. See, what I did, I went to web map services, quick map services. If you don't have this option, go to plugin. Here, main menu bar, manage install plugin. Go to quick map services here. Quick map services. Pick this option, select it. It will ask you to install. I have already installed. It is showing me reinstall or uninstall. Quick map services. Go to here and install it and close this option. Then when you go to web, you'll be able to see this quick map service tab. Okay, then from Google. So by default, it will do georeferencing, ma'am. No, no, no. Ah, this map we are already importing from Bhuvan. Bhuvan is already referenced. Okay, so that's why it is taking georeferencing. Yeah, by default. Fine. Then okay. Google Satellite. So we have imported this Google Satellite. Now, if you want to see, okay, this area is what this area is. We are not able to understand. So I will zoom in. And I will try to understand. Okay, this is the light bluish color. So this is see, this is the water body. Correct? This is the water body. And if, if I want to see what is this, we just zoom in. See red color na built up area. If we zoom in, so if you want to see which this this red color area, what it is, see here. And this is the residential area reason built up ruler mix village if you see this red color option what it is are you seeing my cursor built up ruler mixed village settlement so if you just do check it is showing this red color red color is so ruler mix this this area so like that we can digitize we can prepare our own land use land cover map using Google satellite and we can also prepare such kind of raster or this what they Bhuvan have made. That's why I told na, we we just need to know which information we have to get from which open source data and then we'll be able to plot our own maps such in that manner what they are giving and more better information we can provide because this Google satellite having good 10 meter resolution as I told you. See here what this color is showing wasteland. If I want to off this layer, see the stream, how this stream went, this blue color stream is going. This mindering is like that. If you see here, this is the stream. If I zoom in, are you able to follow me? This is the stream. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so like that we can digitize through our GIA software and prepare our own land use land cover information. I will, let's start with this thing, okay? This, this I just showed you how to import. If we don't have anything, how to bring this in our QGIS and how to work with this. We can start working with uh, this map, okay? Let me tell you, see, we can generate our own shape file with this boundary. How to generate, see? This is the option, I, just look at my cursor as I am moving. So here new shape file layer or else we can go to layer option, create layer, new shape file layer. We can go directly here. We can select our file location path. Okay. So data sets class I have made for you people. One folder. So what are the data sets? I will speak here. I will keep here. So today is... 7th of March. So this I am I want to create a boundary of this Jabalpur land use land cover. Okay. So I'll be just creating Jabalpur study reason. Whenever you 
create any uh, uh, like shape file or any name anything in QJS, please don't use space because when you save any file with space, it will take it will not uh, uh, like it will take a lot of uh, memory. You can say space separate the words. So better to use underscore. Okay, it will be easier to understand. It will be good. Okay. I'm saving it then no need to change the system and all go to geometry type so I want to create a boundary which can be done by which option anyone please tell Polygon. yeah then this is WGS 84 I am not going to change it then you have to name this field this field uh, new field will be this I am adding this polygon or area I will add area this is the whole number like it will calculate or decimal number I am keeping because that may be in decimal because we have to calculate the area of this Jabal for reason so what I am going to do I am going to create a shape file of Jabal pool boundary and I am going to calculate the area of this boundary okay so what I am creating shape file is this is which kind of data set vector or raster guys which one ma'am the one which you are creating now or yeah. the one which is already present which i am creating just now uh, it is vector yeah good so now i add it add to field list so then you have to select this this area what you filled you have. then do okay then see when you when you created one shape file it it came here you see jabalpur study reason are you seeing this layer Yes, then right click over there go to toggle editing toggle editing make you to work with this layer so see now it is a vector layer it has created itself one attribute table so when I start preparing anything into my map now it will be considered in the attribute table so I will be able to show you what is attribute table let me just do toggle editing when we do toggle editing, you will be able to see when this digitizing toolbar active. Earlier it was not active. If I off it again, if you see here, if I just double like again click on toggle editing, see you are not able to select any of this option. So here this pens pencil icon, this is the toggle editing. Or else you can go to your layer, you do toggle editing or else you can select from here itself. Okay. Now, I am interested in creating this polygon so I will select this option of polygon if you see this is the polygon option the boundary you are able to see here I am moving my cursor guys yes ma'am yes, so ma it will it will show you one cursor see plus icon so now you have to start making the boundary so I am just roughly selecting because because it is a big area. So uh, okay, it's better I should have gone with one class, but okay. So I am just roughly selecting. So don't mind my drawing. So. I should not make any error that is my thing or boundary exact boundary I am not going for because we have to do more zoom in or zoom out to select exact boundary are you able to understand how to do this this is called what tracing the boundary this is called digitization so don't worry if you go a bit I am not making that much detail that's why I am just roughly doing just want to show you the area calculation using attribute table this is a big area okay. so this is called manual digitization I taught you in one class 
how the manual digitize if we are going to sit for one one building and man manually digitize it will take lot of time that's why so many scanners and tools are available to do digitization so we used to do mixed like manual plus this tools digitization so we just allocate few reason and boundary to make software understand this thing which feature is uh, representing what and then we leave the tool itself to identify and to digitize are you understanding guys yes ma'am if anywhere you'll get any doubt please ask i'm doing roughly please don't mind i already spoke okay so that because if i go detail way i have to do more zoom in and zoom out till now i not have covered much okay if it load much we can off our background satellite image also so that we'll get more clarity in our map okay let me off we can off from here directly no problem see i made few mistakes also okay Uh, but if you guys doing seriously please zoom in the reason and then take points okay so that will be able to do exact or fine digitization so don't worry if you wrongly selected any points you need not to go back because if you do escape because for to stop anywhere we just have to double click or right click but sometimes just selected wrong vertex so you should not do escape because whole polygon will go away so you have to do again the same work be very careful with digitization so anyone just search on google what is the area of jabalpur district of madhya pradesh and let me know then we'll calculate the area in our attribute table also and we'll check how much fine we are able to catch or match okay just do this quickly and let me know because somewhat okay not that much but write in the chat box and speak also how much the area of jabalpur region is coming in square kilometers please 5200 square kilometers yes ma'am okay so we'll see how much i am able to catch see you are able to see na some deviations are there so please no mind i'm not exactly boundary so this is a bit tedious task manually you have to follow this trace this path boundary that's why we have to select one small small reason like blocks or one good choice i also have if if you guys remember i have got the shape file of india whole india region remember from diva gis anyone knows in my third class maybe or second class i have covered this thing guys nice. guys am i audible to you 
Yes, ma'am. But uh, I think I didn't attend the second class. Don't worry. Then you just let me know so that I will do, na. No? I will do, and I will make you understand. So there, I got the shape file of whole India. That is administrative map, and uh, that is vector data. So in that we will have state boundary and district boundary and block. Ah, uh, this ah uh, uh, state district boundary. Yeah. So see here, I have reached nearby to my first point where I have started. So what I will do? I will just double click and right click. So I have to give ID number like one or two, any number you can give. So when we create number of polygons, we have to give numbers. So area here I have mentioned, but no need. We can mention here any name like this is called Jabalpur, na. I did a wrong uh, input here. I should not give this area. I should have given the name, which will be in text format. I have given decimal number, so we have to rectify this. Don't worry. Go click on OK. So now we will get the shape file. Are you? So now it is still in uh, that uh, polygon icon. So here, when you just select, it will show you the polygon. So you have to do escape option from your keyboard. Okay, so it will go. Fine. Then somewhat I am able to digitize this. Somewhat I am able to digitize this. Okay. So I have to off to off this. What you will do? Just select your pan option, and go to this shape file. Toggle editing off. So it will ask you, do you want to save the changes to the layer of Jabalpur study region? Will say yes. What we digitize, we want to save. Now I will go to. This attribute table. Ah, uh, first I want to show you some properties. I go to the property option here and go to symbology. Here I have selected simple fill. Simple fill means solid. It is a solid. This color, okay, dark yellow color. I want to make it as a hollow. Okay, I don't want to have any boundary so that I'll uh, have any fill. So I want to do opacity. See here. Are you able to see opacity is zero percent? It will be transparent. And then this boundary I want to locate with red color, so it will be visible to us properly. I have selected this red color. I do OK. It will appear as a red color. And I want to increase the thickness of the line. So here this is stroke width. It is. I am increasing by this, or we I I can write also zero point five. Okay, I want it to zero point five mm. Mm. This millimeter is this there, है ना? And then you have to do apply. Do okay. So see some errors are there. See here. I did not selected the lines properly. Okay. This is what I want to show you. So that's why I made it it as hollow. So what I will do? I have to edit this. So I will go again to this toggle editing, this pencil, yellow pencil. I will on this. So it will be active. When it will be active, I will go to this option. This is the vertex tool. When we select this vertex tool, and when we just move your cursor to your polygon, you'll be able to see that it is showing the What the points you have selected? That's why I told, if you select any wrong point, don't do escape because when you do that time escape, it your uh, all polygon will go. So better you uh, edit your things, polygon or any other shape files, vector data, whatever you make. Better to go with this active again this toggle editing and then select the vertex tool. When you select vertex tool, when you come to your uh, digitize thing. It will show you this red red points. So that is your selected point. What you have to do? I am zooming. Here I made a mistake. So what I will do? I will zoom it. This plus icon will appear to you to add any vertices. So I, now I, what I do? I will be adding. So I will be double click. See here. I am able to move. Are you seeing this thin red color moving line? So I will be able yes. to editing. See it came here. 
now again i'll add one more word this plus option will appear until you want so just do double click will be able to move so i want to make one more vertex here so i made it then here also i made a mistake and i want to move this so double click and move this double click you'll be able to add any vertex also will be able to move this see I'll, I'll be able to move this and just one click if you are moving you have to do double click and when you are leaving you have to do one click only so double click select keep it so just some more nearby points i am doing and then i'll be leaving because that much detail i will do for my another geo referenced file i am just doing this thing to make you understand guys see here i'll be able to move my this points so how i'm moving now you can add here one point and you can move it so that it will fall on our own study reason like that please you perform you'll feel lot of confident when you do all these things by your own and without see i have imported now that's why i'm telling i will do in my another image so you'll be able to understand how to import or how to digitize by your own self i made roughly but you can do in a detail manner see see like this you can select and keep on correct points just have to double click to add and then leave is here one more and then this here okay it will take here also i'll add one more what is i'll move until here somewhat it will be able to catch the area of 5200 square kilometer you told right see nothing have been changed we will be able to edit the vertices see somewhat now it is covering the boundary so i am leaving i just do save when we again click on this yellow pencil icon it will ask you to off this toggle editing just do save and what i will do this is the jabalpur study reason layer i will right click over that i will go to open attribute table so we'll be getting one this id option and area option we have one shape file so we'll be getting that now what will i do if you see here this is the attribute table this is the one polygon i have created so i'm seeing this option so this is the toggle editing if i want to change so if i have another polygon also we can work upon another polygon okay like that only this land use land cover have been created see if i have okay let me show you one more polygon what i will do i'll add one more polygon here so to add polygon i'll again active uh, i'll doing active this toggle editing and i have to select add polygon feature then i will go and i want to add this okay i want to add this water boundary is here na huh? want to add this water boundary also mm, okay let me add i'll start digitizing this i am interested in water boundary so i want select the green region you have to do very uh, like going zooming and doing then only it will come i am doing roughly don't follow like this just follow the tools okay try to do by yourself will be able to catch more better and then i'm just selecting this water body to make you understand the attribute table feature okay so like that any road network you have to go for selecting new shape file and going to select the line feature name the line feature and add the line feature then you'll be able to make your road or any pipeline or any drainage network or any railway 
or optical fiber uh, lines how it is so like that and the length you can calculate i will show you the calculation of area or any calculation you can do in attribute table just to show the polygon i am doing are you getting guys yes ma'am yes ma'am ma'am can't we automate this um... ah automation is there i told you na no? scanning is there but one or two polygon we have to locate but uh, no digitization what we are using in gis we have to do by hands only many maps we have prepared why manually digitizing you know bit bit tedious task but when you do for one shape file or one na uh, it will be helpful to you for uh, like to understand and uh, will be clear to you and it's not openly available also you know like only india i will show you this things also but for land use land cover for wetlands what they have classified na different classes and all so see i am making error here what we have taught in class like overshooting undershooting i told you na in classes what the errors can yes, be ma'am. in digitization that's why i'm telling i'm roughly doing this boundary but when you do you please do like this like zoom it more until you get this boundary you know like this you see here now what i am doing like this you have to follow like this so you'll make lesser error okay like this you have to follow or else one snapping option is there where it will show you the vertices like you just go it will snap you and show you the vertices oh an option is there somewhere it's not active sometimes we have to go and on na sometimes the tool is not appearing you have to right click over here and we have to on the snapping tool option snapping toolbar yeah then when you do yeah see this magnet you are seeing this magnet what i did i just right click over here here is one snapping toolbar are you seeing yes ma'am so here magnet is it when you on this it will show you one magnet here okay so enable snapping but for that you have to select your so now when i enable snapping i have to go to the all layers or open snapping option i have to add my layer i don't know it is there or not so area i am snapping uh, okay so it will show you see now now you need not to like zoom in you know now it itself show you the okay this is the vertices you select this is the vertices understood I can do more detail way. Understood what I am saying? Yes. So now you'll make lesser error. So this is the advantage of snapping tool. But I did not added my layer. But when we add uh, this polygon layer, it will show you the rectangular or uh, like icon, which is more like accurate. Let me finish this, and then. Okay. So this area will be until you where you have started. You have to come back to that place, and then. So just right click. So it will ask you IDs. I am giving just two numbers. This is my another polygon. Okay, so I just off this toggle editing, so it will ask me to save this polygon. When I do open attribute table, I'll be able to see another polygon also. So let me calculate the area. So here the option, if you see, ha, huh, we can select also, like select all. Then both, whenever you select here in QGIS, it will show you yellow color option. So yellow color. So I want to select one. So see here. only one has been select one is 
whole area if i want to select just two so it has it has selected only this water feature so i just don't want to select so i will do this see here this is the option of deselect deselect all feature okay and then i just want to show you the attribute table features this is the attribute table of the polygon what we have created so here one option is open field calculator go to that open field calculator i have see you can create a virtual field means one field you can create or else you can update the existing field so i have an area column here already ha na so i want to make the calculation of area so what which field you want to update so i want to update this area so i just select this area column and then in the expression go to geometry see here you see my cursor it'll go to geometry just drop down this arrow you'll be able to see the dollar area double click so you will be able to bring this into this equation expression tab this is the expression tab where you can give any calculation in this calculator this is the field calculator of attribute table so i want this area is in what meter square but i want it into kilometer square so what i will do here you see x is equals to plus minus divide multiplication power ha na so these brackets and these things are there so what i will do divide by cut to convert meter square into kilometer square what we have to do we have to divide by 10 to the power 6 so i will write divide by 10 to the power i'll add power 6 now it is in kilometer square so i will do okay after adding this expression so what it will do i have updated this existing field which is area and i have given the expression going to my geometry added this area divided by 10 to the power 6 to get this output into kilometer square and i do okay what i got this is the approximate area what you have told about 5200 ah uh, then when you do any calculation any editing into your polygon or line or point feature which is vector data you have to again save the toggle editing and you have to again save this layer then only this calculation will be remain or else if you do cancel it will go so it came around 5200 what you told which is okay let me just google it quickly jabalpur mp area is around how much area in kilometer square is this maybe how you got that 5200 ma'am i wrote area of jabalpur okay uh, sometimes uh, Okay. Still coming like that, maybe. Yeah, see here, five one nine eight kilometer square. Okay. So five one nine eight. What I am getting in my QGIS after digitizing, which I did roughly. So I am getting five thousand one hundred thirty six point nine. So which is somewhat okay. If you see, I have taken boundary outer, like some offset I have taken, right? I did not take in exactly. so it is calculated a bit inside this area so which has a error here okay some more another reason so i will off i will close this my this attribute table so you understood how to calculate the area in the attribute table how to add and this water boundary also it got calculated whatever calculation you will do for one column of this area which i did in my open attribute table it will calculate how many number of polygons you have here it will calculate for all so this will make some easier but you have to do for each column you have to add expressions for each column so that is a bit a tedious task if you have number of polygons or boundaries i will show you in my that i did in my first class of that uh, second class of diva gis which i have imported and i have 
showed the area and boundary of the state and district and blocks also it was there okay so this is the water body area 52.18 and this is 5136 area of this whole jabalpur region so that's a one example of the boundary or digitization so let me quickly do time is running so let me quickly do the geo referencing i want to show here my targets are like i have to do today bhuvan thematic layer i have imported web map services open street google satellite you are able to see topo sheet map geo referencing digitization i did i will show you in my geo referencing map also and then map making we'll see if time pertains and then i'm going to remove this layer how i will remove select this layer right click see remove layer option is there remove this layer you do okay yeah you want to remove finished and then google satellite also it's not needed to me i remove one i'll keep i need in my geo referencing then jabalpur also i want to remove i'm not interested to keep i remove now for geo referencing okay now for geo referencing geo referencing meaning is to allocating the latitude or longitude or the coordinate of the map on the globe on this google google satellite image so i have some topo sheet which i told you guys i have downloaded some topo sheets just to show you i kept here this is rajasthan some reason i got madhya pradesh and maharashtra and some orissa and uttar pradesh latitude longitude clear visual understanding so we'll do this mapping so okay let me import this orissa image and let me do the geo referencing of this orissa image because it is showing a clear latitude longitude if you see here be able to see the 82 degree east 23 degree north like that like that we have the grids very clear here or else we can take this topo sheet also but we have to zoom in more to see the coordinate if you see here this is 74.45 we can do this also no problem if we import in qgis we don't have any issue so let me geo reference after geo referencing only when you uh, bring this map on the google satellite na what we did here digitization then we do then we prepare the different features on the land surface and i'll be able to create my own map understood yes okay so let me bring so for geo referencing any raster or any jpg or any image file will go to raster because anything you have to geo reference you should have a map so go to geo referencer in raster because this is the raster feature whatever the in inputs i have i will make a zip file and i will upload in my material folder so if you want to work up on these things you can just take this input extract it and bring it in your qgis and you can start working fine okay in the raster geo referencer you have some options file edit to add point or delete point view pan zoom in zoom out if you have like as i showed you one topo sheet which i am not able to see what are the coordinates so we can zoom in zoom out setting transformation raster property so here to load raster first i want to open my raster in this geo referencer which i want to geo reference uh you can off the background image it's if it is not needed but after geo referencing i wanted to show you like how it appears how we brought the ground control point gcp here if you see sorry uh yeah here if you see what we are going to do gcp is load ground control point or save ground control point if we already have lat ground control point means exact location means exact lat long so if we have already for any image or for any location we can directly reach to or if we don't have we create and we save the gcp ground control points to exact locate so what i am going to do i am bringing my raster here so okay i have where is that what is the name of this orissa lat long 
okay i'm bringing because it is easier to get the geo reference we need to understand how to do you can do for any image fine you want me to do for any other image you can let me know guys ma'am uh, starting we can work on this then later if uh, uh, we get okay, any doubt yeah yeah, yeah because to understand first all the parameters it will be good to take a simple image okay i have other image also i can work no problem so what i did i i have went to file open raster i bring my uh, i went to the location where i have saved this image and i brought it this open and this uh, raster file lat long file and then start ha huh, first uh, when you bring this raster you have to go to this are the all the option what i have showed you in this menu bar see here uh this is the add gcp when when we start doing it will be active load point and this is the pan if you want to move anywhere you can zoom in zoom out if you don't want if you're not able to see like that which in that image we are not able to see we just select we can zoom in or if we want to zoom out just zoom out select and zoom out select again pan to move this or you can scroll also no problem and then go to transfer meshing setting where whenever you import any image you have to do some setting like you have to give some information regarding this layer so polynomial or linear generally we go for linear transformation what i am going to do i want to import this raster in my uh this google earth direct in my qgis to represent because this is an image i don't know where it belongs i don't know i don't know the because here it has mentioned in the title this is orissa latitude longitude if it doesn't doesn't appear in the text or in the title bar how you will know this is the orissa map we don't know we just know the grids we know the latitude longitude if we want to know without this title tab so we have to bring this image so how to bring we have to do some settings we go to transformation setting just to polynomial leave it normally whatever the default things are there just keep it normally but here the output raster after geo referencing where you want it to save so what i'm going to do i am allocating one path to save my data this is the today's folder so this itself named as modified now orissa lat long map modified it came so i just save it the with this path with this name i i want to save this gcp this i want to whatever ground control point i am going to select from this map i want it to save with my file and i want to load in my qgis when i am done with my geo referencing so i have selected this load in qgis i ticked i do okay now i will select this see here this option add points this select this add point option scroll or zoom zoom in option do zoom in and as i told you in geo referencing minimum how many number of points should be needed to geo reference any map i spoke this things in my class anyone guys minimum four points are needed we can go clockwise we can go anti clockwise okay but we have to follow the same uh procedure follow the same so we need four ground truth point more than four is very much good but less than four is not good to locate any map on the google google set so what i am going to do i'm going to select it. this is not clearly visible to me so i am just taking one point here the plus mark i'm zooming it more so this is 82 degree east 22 degree north so i just select this point and now enter the map coordinate the tab will appear so x will be your easting easting is 82 degree see easting x slash easting so i will write 82 and northing is 22 i will do okay see it came and it will appear one point here see one point came so as as uh, you can say 
like finer you are able to go go with the image and try to look it because after after showing four point or after allocating four point you have to maintain this residual residual is i will show you after selecting four point which will tell about how accurate your points or ground control points are okay so this is 85 degree east 23 degree north okay i selected so what will i give here guys anyone hello i am giving 85 degree east and what is that 20 Three, no. Twenty here only, right? Twenty-three degree north. Let me check. Yeah, fine. So it came correctly. Like that, I'm going with another twenty degree north and eighty-seven degree east. So I want to select. I'm going clockwise. Are you seeing? Eighty-seven or twenty? So I just select this point. I'll write eighty-seven degree east, twenty degree north. I do okay. So it's a bit. Uh, see the the grid is not in line. So that's why when I just selected this point, it showed me some values which earlier was not there. Means, ah. Uh, i can remove also like if i am able to see some errors is coming so the last point which i can unselect i don't want this point so again my residuals will become zero because this is not correct or else i just select this row i will do sorry it went i just selected and i clicked on remove i will show you again when i selected this point this is 87 and 20 and i did okay It showed me some error in my previous because this wrong input caused some error in my previous correct values. So what I will do, or else I will unselect this GCP, or I will do right click there, recenter or remove option is there. I will remove. Okay, so I have made a wrong point. So what I am going to do, I am going to again allocate one point here. It somewhat. Clear to us. So that is eighty six east, and are you getting guys? And eighteen north. So I am allocating one point here. Let's see eighty six degree east, eighteen north. Okay. Okay. Let me move forward. This is eighty four degree east. Okay, no. I will select eighteen degree, eighty three degree east, and eighteen degree north. I will zoom more. Eighty three degree east or eighteen degree north. Do okay. It caused some error because my previous value also. So this point is not accurate. So again, I want to remove this point because this is not correct. It is causing twenty six percent residual error. I am removing my second point also and third point also. That is not correct. So I will do again. Are you understanding how you have to locate the correct lat long, guys? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, eighty-seven and twenty-two. Let me locate this. I'll try to locate exactly eighty-seven degree east, twenty-two degree north. I'll do okay. Still, it is causing some error, but ten to the power minus four, so somewhat okay. But next point we have to be make sure should not make any error. So go with the point which are clear, like the cross will be very clear, so that no error should be there. Nineteen degree and eighty two degree. Let me see. See, I came like one, two, three, and like this I am moving clockwise. Okay. You should also follow this uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise. If you go like this anti-clock, so go like this. Don't do random any point selection. So eighty-three degree and nineteen degree. I'm selecting here. Eighty-three 
एटी थ्री डिग्री ईस्ट नाइनटीन डिग्री नॉर्थ समन इज आस्किंग समथिंग ओके See now, somewhat okay. Your residual error should be less than one. Okay, so if I want to, when you do total four point na, it will appear your total error should be less than one. So I want to select one more point so that see max to max, you should select thirteen point in one map so that if you made any mistake, also it won't uh, appear or uh, allocate in your when you reproject these things in your uh, this uh, ground truth value like google satellite image so i want to select few x additional point L four is the minimum point which you should do so i want to locate some more so i want to 21 and 80 what is this 82 so i'm going my clockwise direction from here okay 82, 19. I want to locate here one more point. I am zooming so that I will allocate clear point. 82, 19. We did okay. Still under one only, so no problem. So one more. 83, 21. fine when you select exact point na previous error also can be reduce so you have to select some extra point that will be very good in your referencing so i have selected around 6 point 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 you see six points i have allocated here in my map and then what i want to do after completing your geo referencing if you want to add more than four as many you can add relocate your map on the earth surface in a exact manner and your residual error should be less than 1 so i want to save this ground control point so i want to save my points i will go to save point it will i will allocate this in my folder is save do save now after completing your geo referencing just start geo reference just select load it So it will load what you have done. Now you can see, just close this. It has been saved because in trans transformation setting itself, we have given the output raster location. So just close this, and you can see here your Orissa latitude longitude modified map came here because in transformation setting, I have checked the option of. load my layer when your referencing has been completed so now i will do right click zoom to layer see my map a bit tilted now if i on my google satellite let it open so it should appear okay maybe just a minute i want to check this cord in uh, this uh, projection so go to this property my projection is pseudo mercator so i have to project this on the this exact latitude longitude so for projection where i will go for this this is the raster so i'll go to raster projection last class i showed you guys right va projection and then reprojection this modified image i want it to project is let me go to this projection i want to project it so odisha is lies under utm zone uh, 43 n no 44 n odisha is here now 45 i guess right fine so i'm keeping odisha here and then i want to save my output file go to reprojected file save it so i want to give the projection here for today's class reproject it orisa i say give the run it will say what happen okay give me a minute guys 
raster projection var projection source okay pseudo mercator yeah target crs is i will go here okay i will select wgs 84 let me get this file first i want to import with my google satellite just a projection run this it got run say it came now if i want to see the projection here should appear on my google satellite image why it's not appearing google satellite just a minute transformation setting i did projection okay to and uh, if if you made any mistake in projection system you just go to this layer crs means layer coordinate reference system so set the layer crs if you are not getting i want to see my image happen projected properly or not it's not appearing on the satellite imagery. Anyone can suggest for Urisa which uh, reason UTM zone it should cover? 47, no. 45 north I guess right see now my image is showing the latitude longitude it's not some issues had created actually earlier when i did it did not show such error it directly imported okay so how to resolve this problem guys are you with me yes ma'am yes ma so what i will do i will re i will import my this modified map which i have saved in my folder of today's class then uh, sorry i will import my previous map it will because I have to go to transformation setting. Then go to transformation setting. Here I have allocated the pseudo marketer. I just select this WGS84. Okay. Things will be same. Okay. I just load my GCP because I already have saved GCP points. Okay. I loaded my points. I loaded this raster. Now let me check it is coming on this map or not. It should come. Yeah, see here. Ah, sorry. This mistake have happened with coming. Are you guys understanding? See here, it came on Nurisa. Yes, ma'am. In Nurisa it came. Yeah. What happened? When we do this transformation setting, that time pseudo marketer I did not change. That is, I kept default. Remember? I kept default. So you have to do WGS84. So, no need to do any projection here when you already allocate there correctly. Understood? So, here you will be able to see this Orisa map. Now, what you guys have to do, just create new shape file, add one path. I have made Jabalpurna, Orisa. And then save this. Make a polygon here. Then name here, what name I want to give, 
just okay name of this area text data will be the area add field it will be string or we can name here as an area we can delete this also remove field while deleting i want to add area because i am interested in calculating this area if you select whole number decimal won't be considered if you select decimal number some decimal points also be considered so that's why i'm selecting decimal add field select this do okay now you do one thing you got one shape file here now on the toggle editing go to polygon now you have to digitize this boundary so that i want to locate this odisha boundary in my as i have showed in my ppt remember here see this is the shape file of tamil nadu i showed you here where it went yeah here so like that are you able to get i don't know see will be will be understand this is the red boundary of tamil nadu region like that i want to make a polygon of this odisha boundary so i am starting to make quickly just a bit roughly i am covering i want to import i want to show you that uh, india shape file also that's why i am bit quicker So what I am doing, guys? Polygon. No. Okay, I am creating polygon. polygon. For what purpose? Yes. Area purpose. Actually, I am doing digitization using uh, yes. the data polygon yes. to calculate or to bring this polygon yeah. shape into my Google satellite to and get this area. Okay. through this attribute okay. table of the vector data so you, whatever you do you should be very clear what purpose and what information you are going to get doing this so roughly i am just allocating somewhat the orissa boundary after allocating i will show you how it clearly appear in our sorry i made inside one additional vertex okay see this map is very clearly made that's why it's easier to catch the pixels you know this image that's why i have selected this image to demonstrate in class see not much deviation you will be able to get when you digitize this map you know so such kind of map you should uh, initiate for your working so that if you see my map how clearly it will be able to catch so guys if you have any question please ask time is i'm just showing you i'm just leaving this id i'm giving one okay fine i got the shape file now what will i do i will off this see i off this image i got this polygon here this is the orissa shape file see you have created sure. orissa shape file i save this i'll go to open attribute table right clicking on this layer open attribute table i go to open field calculator i want the ab update the existing table of area i go to geometry which i did in my previous exercise area divided by 10 to the power 6 what you can do 10 sorry came twice so 6 uh, okay do okay so you got the area save this toggle editing the area is around 15 One lakh fifty-seven thousand one thirty-seven, one thirty-nine. Just check this, guys. Quickly check this. Is it correct? I can do simple fill or any hashed fill also to show my area. As I showed the Tamil Nadu region, I can change the color also. is it fine ha 
how much it is coming guys ंग uh 1 lakh 57000 something fine somewhat Thanks nearby much. okay Come so up uh, now i want to show you to quickly to bring this in a map okay so i just showed oh. what i showed you to in today's class guys i showed how to do how to bring web map services how to do geo referencing and digitization how to calculate the area or any if you see i did not created any line feature here i can get the length also selecting on the geometry if you see here go to attribute table if i have not polygon only if i have line feature you have to go to field calculator uh when we go to here geometry i have so many option i have area here i don't have uh line i have lines length of line okay so i have so many option x minimum y minimum means we when sometimes we don't have coordinate just we know projection system and we allocate to get this coordinate also x and y values are there you know z value so many options are there you have to explore this at this field calculator also it is very helpful to deal with vector data calculations okay okay i will okay, provide okay. all the inputs now quickly i just want to show you how to bring it in a map okay five three more minutes are there okay so i am going you yeah, i did not save my project don't do such kind of mistake when you open any project first go to project save as option today's class i did 73 so i want to save this project as geo referencing i did okay referencing of orissa okay i did i just save this so i want to make a map i'll go to new print layout okay i'll go to new print layout so i have to give a name create print layout give a name like any name like you can give okay i am working with orissa so okay now one tab will open see here so to make a map like what image we have seen here sorry this image this is raster modified raster see here if you see this is the odisha map here and next map is modified raster map this is a bit tilted it will show you it has been projected any map if you do geo referencing na it will comes with the ground control point coordinates so it will show, appear you like this so always if you see any image such kind you understand you quickly catch like okay this is geo referenced map okay like that you can so now i go to this there is lot of options are there like layout save project import export this project edit option if you have any pro project into this tab and then some more features to add so i am interested to add item into my layout so i am going to add map just when you do this just just make a rectangle so it will bring whatever you have in your that qgis see whatever i have here right i am going to get here fine if you want to zoom in yes if you want to zoom in you just select this see my cursor here this is the option to zoom input move item into the content so if you want to zoom in you have to do this okay So now I want to off my Google satellite map because I am not interested to get. I am interested to get this out outline map. You want me to keep this Google satellite? So now when you do zoom in, zoom out, see you will get this Orisha shape file only. Okay. So I just kept this yes. this map. I want to just tally this this map. So I want to show you as I told in my beginning of my class. I want to prepare a map so now i don't know see this map is not telling me 
uh, which map, which region it belongs, and all these things. So I want to. Okay. When you want to move inside object, you have to select this option, or else if you select this option, it won't select your inside map. It will select outside. This arrow option will be for any output out uh, object. But if you want to select inside this rectangle, you have to select this cursor, this one, cross one. Then only it will zoom in, zoom out, or move this. Thing. Okay. So I just made this. Now I want to add what? I want to add the legend, or I want to add the scale bar. Scale bar to show the scale of the map. So it is the scale. When you select this and you make a rectangle, it will show you the scale bar. Okay. And now, if you want to add some north arrow, so just to select this north arrow where you want to give. Make a rectangle. So you have lot of option here of north arrow. See, I'm interested okay. to give this north arrow. Or I want to change. I'm not liking this north arrow, so I'm changing. I'm changing this north arrow. Okay, so I can change also. Ma'am, yeah. Ma yeah. If I want to create all the district inside the Odisha, then uh, every district I have to prepare polygons. Yeah, you have to bring uh, that district map, and you have to digitize, create the polygon. Okay. New shape file layer. Go to layer. New shape file layer. Start digitizing polygon. Taking polygon shape file, start digitizing. Okay, ma'am, ma'am, ma in this uh, same shape file, uh, can I prepare one, two, three? Uh, how many? Suppose uh, five districts are there, huh. and five polygons inside huh. it, or we have to uh, prepare the separate layers. See, you go here. Okay, zoom in. Okay. If you want the shape file into this Odisha only, you want, na? You don't want additional. Yes, yes. You don't want outside here. You don't want outside here. Inside Odisha, so you do toggle editing on. Select this polygon option. Start digitizing. This see, I have kept this uh, toggle this snapping tool option on. That's why it is showing. See this how the pink color box is catching. You know. Yes. So, if you want five C, if you want one more polygon here, if you want, okay, this is the block. I want it to create. So you can digitize also, and some more option is there. I will tell you in digitization tab itself. You do like this also, but it will take away a lot of time to make, do same practice into this. You bring that uh, uh, boundary that uh, this inside block boundary image, okay, and Okay. I will tell you. You see, when you digitize, it will count as one additional polygon. But I want it inside this, right? I don't want this additional polygon, right? Okay. Are you understanding yes. what I'm telling? So you yes, have to, yes. you have to play with this digitizing tool. Where it is? It's not there. Okay. I will right click. I will shape digitizing toolbar. Are you seeing my cursor? Here it is. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. No. Here it is. Digitizing yes. toolbar. So it's not appearing now. I am keeping this toolbar on. So where it is? One toolbar will appear. Okay. Not able to see actually. Just a minute. Okay, this is also one tab of toolbar. Sometimes some tabs will go away. So you have to be. Uh, I have opened lot of tabs. That's why it is not coming. Uh, one yellow color number of yellow color uh, polygons kind of option will come. Okay, I will bring it in my next class to just okay. to, uh, because time is running. Okay, so you okay. understood how to do. Let me quickly just cover this map thing. See, I made now. Now it will come here if I select the C. If I zoom in, see it came. So I don't want this. I will. You should have asked me earlier, so I might have got these things. Okay. Okay. I just don't want to save, so I off this. And what I will do? Discard. Now I don't want discard. to save this. I discard it. Again, my polygon came like normally as it was. So now I will just zoom in, zoom out. It will go. Okay. Now I want to add a title because I don't know which. What is this? So just add label. Add a label. Now here you have to write here. See main property of label. What is that? Odisha. I will zoom. I will increase the font size. Odisha lat long. Okay. 
so what will i do font here it is showing font right bold i want to increase the size of 22 okay i did this see it came what is it orisa lat long okay you can write whatever you feel like to write okay no problem or if you want it to be in middle see it's in top so you do it in middle okay it will come as a middle if you want to give boundary just select the frame so it will come in frame if you want to center it it will center in that polygon box okay if you want to give this rectangle to your map go select the frame it will see if you do unselect also it will appear you uh, you just have to make like as you do in your paint option and these things huh? but you should know how to bring these things what else legion yeah. legion is missing so legion means what it is showing what this map so this is the orisa map i don't want this legion so if you don't want any one legion you want to name this is the title legion okay so I just named here title as legend. Uh, I don't want. So you do uncheck this auto update option. Uncheck this. I don't want this Odisha lat long modified should come here. Because I don't bring this map here. So I just delete it. Uncheck and delete. Google satellite is also not there. I am deleting it. This is the Odisha boundary. Okay. So I want to make the title. And to make the frame. And font and text fonting title should be bold. So I just select the title font and make it bold and if you want to increase size you can increase size see here now the legion become bold okay now i got this now one more thing which is missing here what is this tell me quickly scale i kept a legend i kept title i kept north arrow i kept grid is missing right so i will go to here add item ah you have to select this rectangle this rectangle which I have made now to add the map. Go here. There is main property. Grid option is there. Are you seeing my cursor? Grid option is yes. there. Yes. Go. Select. Drop down box will come. You have to add. Select this grid. Modify grid. Go to solid. So you have to provide interval. What interval? I want to give 0.5 meter interval. My grid should appear. See here. 0.5 meter. Okay. But you can give one because 5 is more appearing more like fine okay i have given this grid fine yes, uh, this yes, plus yes. sign is hiding my image i don't like this okay. plus sign is very darker you see what i did i selected this color this one is okay yes yeah then then to see still my lat long is not appearing grid is appearing so see when you scroll down one option will appear draw coordinates then only it will show the coordinates see got it yes then yes ma'am then but i don't want my left and right corner should be horizontal i want my left and right corner should be vertical vertical so left one i go Off here out uh, this horizontal i will make it vertical right one okay. i will go horizontal and make it vertical see both came fine guys and yes, one more thing map crs is not appearing see here it is showing 80.000 i don't want this i want it should be in projected system okay so i just give uh it will take time actually it will uh wait okay okay so we can provide this projection system to allocate the project ma'am we need minimum uh, practical class three in geo gis sorry minimum three classes ma'am in a week online classes like uh, two hours each uh two because hours my... we can talk after this oh. because i have on the recording just wait for a minute i just complete okay. this map so what i did see here here it is the coordinate precision came around three but i don't want zero 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 so what i did i made it one so it is 85.0 only and i changed the format okay. it was decimal earlier so i changed decimal with suffix suffix is east and north it will show okay east and north. Oh, yes so i got this things a fine map i created of orisa boundary and then i want to save my image what will i do go to layout i made all these things 
go to export as image or export as pdf whatever you want so export mm. i want it as image so i want this odisha image should come so i just i gave the name odisha i save it so it ask you the dpi dpi means how clear like pixel ha na how clear pixel Pixels. you want i want so i 500 dpi or 600 300 is also fine as much details you have if you see the land use land cover map how detailed map they have created like that if you create you need a detail map when you zoom it should not blur okay now i will go to my this seventh today's folder see i got this image jpg file that is odisha file see i opened this jpg file as an image as you have seen uh this pictures which i have showed you previously like that now your image will come see i zoom in yes so you got this latitude longitude north arrow scale bar legend or you can play with this things i just roughly made this plot like right. that you can play. okay so map i have covered i have covered geo referencing i have covered digitizing and i have covered the attribute table understanding so thank you class it's been time thank you for being patient okay. with me thank you ma'am yeah. ma'am uh, i will share your the information will available ma'am uh, maybe day after tomorrow or by the next week they will be up, available you are online don't okay. worry i will share this uh, data what you have asked for thank you okay ma'am uh, please share the at least a digital practice no? sure sure sure